All right, so Ryan, man, this is a big day for you. I know you've this has been a, a big part of your life. How excited are you to now see a full theater watching this film? I, it's surreal. I, I still to this day can't really even fathom. I mean, like I'm looking at this and to have my first film play at Grandma's Chinese Theater. It's kind of a, it's kind of a. I don't know. It's, it's, it's a dream come true. I was going to ask you that. This isn't like, you know, your local like Cineplex. This is the freaking Chinese theater. Yeah. I mean, it, is it, it's hard to go up from here, but, but that's a very good place to start. Yeah, no, and I mean, you know, we, I started this film independently. This is an indie film. And um, after, uh, after uh, Universal came on board and, um, you know, wanted to release it, I mean, it, that definitely gave it some, you know, just a little bit of a boost. So I'm, I'm happy that... Um, we're showing here, and I'm still kind of taking all this in. You know, this is this is kind of wild. He he means so much to the Filipino people. Uh, are you nervous at all? There's gonna be a lot of Filipinos around the world watching this. Like, is there any nerves knowing they're gonna see it? Are you kind of excited and pumped to bring it? I made this film sp especially for Filipinos because I wanted to. I believe that Manny, he personifies the Filipino struggle and triumph, and I feel like. When they see this, um, I hope that they'll be inspired by it. So, yeah, at first I felt really tense about them seeing it. I felt like, oh, man, I, I hope I did it justice. But um, so far, I mean, the response seems to be really good. So, now, Did you have to convince him? Like, did you have to bug him a little bit? Or he was always on board? You know, it, it took about a year okay. to actually get him on board. And um, even after we started, it took, it took a while for him to get comfortable with me. You know, there's a... There's a a certain amount of trust that goes with having someone always in your face with a camera. You know what I mean? And in, in, in your bedroom with your family. You know what I mean? They're, you know, and if, he never knew what I was going to do with the footage. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so there's, so after he kind of saw that I was there for the long term and he saw that I genuinely, I genuinely wanted to make a good movie, um, he just kind of allowed me to, he kind of opened himself and his doors more and more. So after a while, um, there was never really any question as to whether or not I can come in or go there. Or it was, you know what I mean? It was, everything was um, completely open. And, um, and I think that, um, I mean, you know, the fact that he's here and we're still here together shows that he likes the film. So that's what I'm, that's what I'm happy about. All right, last question. What was the one thing you learned about Manny you did not know before starting this film? I know you learned a lot, but what was the one thing that you were just like, wow, I would have never guessed? Um, I never would have guessed that... Hmm, that's a good question. There's so many things. Even today, there are things that he surprises me with. Yeah, I mean, like his music choice is really like 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 today. Like we were driving around, and um, one of my favorite movies of all time is Almost Famous. And the scene where they're all singing together, we were singing together um, uh, Creedence Clearwater Revival, and so we were singing. Um, Have you ever uh, seen the rain? And so we all broke out singing it. And I looked at him, and I was like. Man, this guy loves singing everything. So like that's one thing he always surprises me. He'll stick his phone in my ear and he'll be like, "Listen to this." And we'll just and and we have those moments together. So well, congratulations, man. Today's a big day for you. Enjoy it. We can't wait to see the film. Thank you so much. I appreciate your support.